is the importance of blue carbon and potential theory only. Every year, the Earth produces 10.6 gigatons of the carbon dioxide, and then we go through the three pools. One is the atmosphere, account for 50%, another 25%. Will be taken up by the soil, forest, in the ocean. And the many buses taken up by the ocean is due by a physical pump, or we call it biological pump, in the physical pump. Then, when the ocean takes up lots of the carbon dioxide, then you can see the ocean come for many very important carbon dioxide too. For example, if we take up the atmosphere carbon dioxide in the earth, in the ocean, we together, then we call this is 100. Then the ocean can account for 93 percent. Then the earth, including the soil in the forest, only can account for five. Then the, the atmosphere carbon dioxide, which affect our weather, is only account for 50%. So that means the ocean carbon dioxide storage is much, much higher than the atmosphere and the forest. The two major components of the carbon dioxide in the ocean are the DIC and the DOC. The DIC is like the soda water, and the DOC is like coffee in the tree. Then we can easily understand. For example, in Taiwan, every year we produce 170 million tons of carbon dioxide. Then we plan to reach the carbon net zero by 2050, we only account for forests, which can take up about 21 million tons. Then, in order to reach the carbon neutrality, we need to have either cut our carbon dioxide emission, or we, do, we need to have a huge amount of negative carbon dioxide emission. So that is the always thing. We can plant lots of trees, or we can use the coastal blue carbon. So now let's talk about what is the blue carbon. I think most people are familiar with this green carbon, which is the tree. And through the photosynthesis, we convert the inorganic carbon dioxide to organic carbon. Then similar. The, so much main food, sea grass, they also do the photosynthesis to convert the CO2 to the organic carbon. But what is the value of the blue carbon in Taiwan's coastal water? Then this graph show blue carbon account in the garden. You, you, can, you can see the carbon sequestration is about 40.3 million tons per year. Then sea floor sediment is another huge amount of the blue carbon. So we can understand phytoplankton and the seaweed are the two major components. In this example, you can see carbon sequestration in this grid, you can see inorganic carbon only account for 1.8 million tons. In organic carbon contain 24, 26.4 million tons. Then all the organic carbon are contributed by health, which is about 31.6%. Then the rest of the organic carbon 
uh, mainly from hydrogen bomb in a count of 68.4%. Uh, so, why the blue carbon are important, especially in the open ocean? We can see here the structure of the open ocean. The upper layer we call the vertical zone needs the light to penetrate about 1% of the surface light. That is from zero to 200 meters. Then below 200 meters to 1,000 meters, we call this is the twilight zone. Then the carbon dioxide or organic carbon enter this step. Then we we'll stay here for 100 years and take to the surface water. If they go to the 3,000 meters or 5,000 meters, then they will stay here at least for 300 years, 500 years. So if Based on the definition of the carbon storage, then that should be less than longer than two years. They also can fall in the deep water or the sediment. So, blue carbon is an important question to carry down the carbon dioxide and store it in the deep water. Then, as I just mentioned, the carbon dioxide can be carried down to the deep water by a biological carbon pump. So then we can use the floating sediment test to measure the biological carbon pump for the moving sediment trap. Both are created the vertical sinking platform in the open ocean water can be deployed one day at least for Six months. Then after that, we measure their carbon. We call this is the biological carbon pump. Then you can see the green part is the fossil blue carbon. Total, including the so much secrets in maple, is about 0.45 million tons. Then the deep water blue carbon. Total amount is about 95.6 million tons. So you can see the figure and figure out the continuous carbon thing can account for 33.5% of carbon dioxide emission. So the cost of the reducing in the North Atlantic Ocean into the global warming and be rich in least several billion US dollars reported by UK scientists. And one, uh, two years ago, a group of the scientists in MIT, they estimate into the global warming the total value of the Machinic blue carbon in reach about 500 billion US dollars. So we suggest that blue carbon in open ocean are very, very important. So to try measuring this line of the carbon stream, some idea is to propose to study the blue carbon stream or how ocean can take up more carbon dioxide. One is to run the oceanic fertilizer. Or second one is to restore cost of blue carbon ecosystem. And the number three is to do the seaweed and phytoplankton application. Number five, number four is run the artificial upgrading. Who can which can bring more nutrients to the subsurface. Since in the subsurface, there are not uh, sufficient new nutrients can be used. And the fifth one is to increase aquamanity efficiency. And the sixth one is to increase the fish 
of the cultivation. So here is an example talking about the potential carbon flux in glass water. This we have the proof in glass water in July 2023. Uh, we are still measuring the biological carbon pump data. And if we use the balance or the forest water data, then it's about 20 milligram carbon meter squared day. Then we can estimate the total carbon flux in plus easy dog is about 4.6 million tons. Then now plow has about 600,000 square kilometers. So we can easily estimate the total carbon credit in plus water is 230 million US dollars per year. What I suggest glass water and then a lot of the oceanic carbon credit. But we need to have the real and deep biological data in glass water. Hopefully, we can get the whole sample done by the end of 2023. So we can estimate the real carbon credit a real carbon thing in cloud water. And here is an example. If we only the Taiwan only account for the blue carbon, that means we want to reach net zero carbon emission by 2050, which is mission impossible. You can see the scenario in 2020, we have about 150 deficits of the carbon dioxide. Then, if we can use all the electrical cars in Taiwan, then we can reduce about 36 million tons of carbon dioxide. Uh, we still have about 150 carbon dioxide, 150 million tons, we need to be we need to think other approach to increase our negative carbon dioxide. So we can use is the seaweed activation. So we want to find the potential seaweed from subtropical oceans. And here is the example. We feed the theory observation in Hongu Island. Then we collaborate with the Cloud Ocean Foundation and also support by our national and uh, national science in this, our national science technology council. Then you can see the theory they grow so well in the Import the zone. So, with this knowledge, then we hope we can do similar work in the cloud. So, I summarize the different theory. On the left hand side is the Sapodia, in the middle is the Sapunata, in the first scenario. You can see most of them. Are higher than the carbon capture rate in the forest of the iron forest in Taipei. So, my conclusion in the future studies ocean blue carbon is the key to reach net zero emission. And we need to help island country invest, investigate oceanic blue carbon based lab and restore coastal blue carbon ecosystem and to find potential series and scale up to storing tanks and to extend marine conservation bridging. Okay, 
in the greater German large forest in Group Avon Field. We thank you very much. If you have a question, please ask now. Thank you. <laughs> Can I ask now? Thank you. Okay. But in summary, yeah,